This video was uploaded using ExpressVPN, the world's number one VPN service. Check out the link in the description. I thought I saw a putty cat creeping up on me. I'm sure I saw a putty cat, as plain as plain can be. This campus is part of Changchun University Arts College. There's actually a lot of pretty good graffiti around here. Look at this one. I think that's quite beautiful. The ghost from Spirited Away. Bruce the shark. Hi, this is Bryn on Burbex. I was so enthusiastic to get out here to show you this place. I drank black tea on an empty stomach and that's a really, really bad idea. It's making me feel a bit nauseous now. It makes me feel a bit sick. They actually talk about this in an epic historical Chinese novel, Chi Bi. And there's a really great movie version of this called Red Cliff. In the movie, you've got the bad guy, that Cao Cao. And in fact, there's an expression in Chinese, Shuo Cao Cao, Cao Cao Jiao Dao, which is the same in English as speak of the devil and he shall appear. So in Chinese, people say, Shuo Cao Cao, Cao Cao Jiao Dao. Bit of a tongue twister there. So Cao Cao kidnaps the good general's wife, who I think is called Xiao Tiao, brings her onto his ship, and on his ship, she does the Chinese tea ceremony for him, which is very elaborate. She doesn't do the tea ceremony correctly. She does this on purpose and she poisons Cao Cao by giving him bad tea. And as a result of this, he falls over, he feels sick, and then he loses the battle. A bad cup of tea can really fuck up your day. I'm feeling a bit better now. Let's go and explore this abandoned university dormitory. I think this is going to be really interesting. Let's go. We're inside now. This is the ground floor of the dormitory buildings. Oh wow, this room is packed full of stuff. Oh. Some running spikes. Still pretty sharp. I think these are new. Oh, there's a drum. Oh, there's lots of drums. The funny thing about Chinese people often is that when they pose for photos, they'll just stand there very straight and they don't smile. They look very serious in photos. Wow, this room is just filled with mattresses. And these mattresses you can see are stuffed with straw. Stuffed with hay and straw. That makes me think of the story of the three little pigs. The pig who built his house with straw. These are handbooks for how to be a good communist, basically. You can see that this was published in 2012. Booklets for the students here who joined the Communist Party. Many students in China believe that if they join the Communist Party, they will have better connections, better opportunities in the future. But in fact, millions of students join the Communist Party every year and it doesn't make any difference, really. God, this place is huge. Look, look at the stairs. Let's go. Oh, look, here we've got a very old duck face. 
habit I've noticed that they have in China is that when there's police messages, uh, you often get these cartoon characters, which actually I think makes the police seem more friendly, but at the same time makes them seem less serious too. I think we're in the girls' dormitories now. At the top of this window here, you, you can see the phrase Long Nian Da Ji, which means uh, Dragon Year, Big Luck, or Have Big Luck in the Year of the Dragon. And I think the last Year of the Dragon was 2012. says Guan Men, which means close the door. Looking out of the window here, I can see the water tower, which I climbed the other week. Everything in this neighborhood has just been left abandoned. That's why I really like walking around here. These are the two guys. Their job is to mow the lawns in here, but they've only got hedge trimmers. I think it's going to take them a long time to do all this lawn. Wow, on this door you can actually see two stencils of Men Shen, or the door gods. I've talked about these guys in a video before, uh, about Men Shen. That's the video, Gods and Ghosts in Guilin Ghost Town. These are really nicely done. Stencil art is actually a really important tradition in China and you'll see these beautiful cutouts often stuck to doors and windows. This is an art college so th these students will be really contributing to Chinese culture in the future I guess. Here's a wallet and on the wallet it says Yue Guangzhou. Yue Guangzhou literally means somebody who spends all their salary as soon as they get it so that at the end of the month their wallet is just empty. Yue Guangzhou. A student ID. And this girl's name is Gao Xiao Pei. I thought I saw a putty cat creeping up on me. I'm sure I saw a putty cat as plain as plain can be. We're on the fourth floor of the girls' dormitory block now, and there's a lot more things left up here than the other floors. As you can see, there's more of the stencils I was talking about. It's very common to have these stencils on windows and doors. Lots of high heels left behind. And also a bottle of ink. Okay. That looks like a pregnancy test. I wonder if she got pregnant. Here's a message that obviously a girl has written to herself and it says Jian chi jian fei yun dong shao chi uh, This is all about losing weight. It means persevere, lose weight, exercise, eat less. And you can see that's dated for the 28th of March 2011. I wonder how much weight she lost. The interesting thing about visiting these places is they not only give you a cross section of time but also a cross-section of Chinese culture, which you might not find in other places. Going through these places as an urban explorer, it's a little bit like your Indiana Jones, modern archeologist, going through these places and decoding these places. I hope that it helps you understand China a little bit better. There's a bra that somebody's left behind. Wow, oh, that's some actually really interesting art. I like that. I used to love the X-Files when I was young and this room makes me think of 
the bad guy, Eugene Toombs, and he had like stretchy fingers and he used to eat people's livers. He made his nest out of like spit and bile and old pieces of newspaper. Ooh. This is a nest. Look, it's made out of rags and newspapers. Maybe there's a Chinese Eugene Toombs in here. It's funny how in China as well, these abandoned buildings often look out onto main roads like this. You can just see all the traffic going by as usual. So I think we're in a boys dormitory now because there's pictures of pretty girls on the wall. A girl here and if we look here there's a picture of the girls band, the girls generation into the new world. Girls generation the first Asia tour. They look like they're Japanese. Uh, it's interesting because that is stuck on the ceiling where the bunk bed would have been. Somebody's been laying on the top bunk fapping to that picture. Oh, look at that, that's a bit fancy. Garnier Men Aqua Fuel. There's some weird sculptures just here made out of plasticine. These guys look like they're in pain. What's he holding? Is there supposed to be a gun? I'm not sure. It's pretty weird. There's a poster for poster for Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. I bet all the Chinese boys, they all love Hermione. <laughs> Alright, let's see if we can get downstairs. It's pretty blocked up. How am I going to get across that? That door is open so I can get out of there. But unfortunately, there's a whole bunch of old ladies sitting right outside it. Fucking people everywhere in China. I managed to get out of there safely. I'm gonna get out of here now, take a shower and get some breakfast. If you enjoyed that, be sure to hit like. Don't forget to subscribe for new videos on Burbex, Bryn's urban exploration every week. Let's go.